Forum for Democratic Change party delegates across the country have converged to Mandela National Stadium to elect leaders, including president, treasurer, and labor representative. Before the voting, the 7th Delegates Conference was held for candidates to make their last submissions to their electorates. In attendance were FDC bigwigs and representatives of other opposition political parties. The incumbent, Major General Gregory Mugishamontu, is facing off with Patrick Amuriat Oboi, former Kumi County Member of Parliament, Malcolm Dan Masiko, former FDC youth leader and mobilizer, and Moses Biamugisha. However, the race is tied between Montu and Amuriat. Candidate Malcolm Dan Masiko started off with blaming the party for electing leaders that have made the party stagnant in opposition forever. <laughs> He said FDC needs leaders like him with a brand new approach to change the party. General Mugisha Muntu, who is seeking his last term as party president, says he wants to brand the party to be a party of mature people. <laughs> He challenged candidates who talk of solving the alleged intrigue within the party to first understand their causes. Candidate Patrick O'Boy Amoriat promises to ensure a self-sustaining party while candidate Moses Biamugisha wants to empower members. For the first time in the history of this country, we are going to have a party in the FPC run as a political and a commercial entity. We are going to make money together so that this party is a party that will go from strength to strength. Voting kicked off at 2 p.m. with delegates calling for peace during the process. I expected that after the announcing of the results, I expected that uh, we would be more unified, a better run party from today. Because you know, when you're in, you have a renewed leadership, you have enthusiasm, you have a psyche, a new psyche that you've created in the public. We know they are all good, they are all good, but we have one who is super. So I'm asking everyone to come, uh, to come and believe in that, one, that party president. After candidates selling their last agendas, it is now up to the delegates to make their last decision and select the best candidate to steer the party in the next five years. I'm Nafka Farida, reporting in Nambole.